Hello, welcome back. Hi! So I did some thinking, and I have re-edited my top five list of Dark Souls bosses. So here we go, <laughs> number five! I'm gonna say number five is Ornstein Smaug, because no. at least they're like important, and everyone knows who they are. So they have like an impact in the series. Number four! Number four will probably be the Hydra. Just because I love the design of the Hydra, I think it's cool. It's like straight out of Hercules. Number three. Ah, oh, fuck, what was the other one I said? Um, Yorm. Yeah, Yorm, just because of Tetsaga. Number two. Number two I'm going to say is Nito, mainly because I think he's an interesting boss, as well as the fact that you can like join him is funny to me. Number one. Number one I'm going to go with Sif, just because Sif is so fucking cool. He's a wolf with a giant sword in his mouth, and... You can actually get him to be your partner. And in the DLC. he fucked Andy up for two and a half episodes. Yeah, he fucked me up, and he's still my favorite boss. <laughs> that says something. Yeah, I just love how it, like, because there have been several bosses that you've beaten in like one try that were like, oh my god, I can't believe you did it one try, or you did it that quickly. So Sif was like, this should be easy. Yeah, Sif was like, fun. how the fuck are you taking this long? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, he is raping you. Just oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that. I don't like that he knows how to kick my shield. It bugs me. Ooh. I want your shield. Bitches, it's good. Bitch, give me it. Suck it. I like how he tried to taunt you. It's like, bitch, now you're now you're Golden Wing Crest Shield. Oh, it sounds sexy. Oh, look at the tits. <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> um, it is sexy. It's actually really good, too. Look at that. Oh, shit. It's like better in almost every way. It's this shield is exceptional among the enchanted blue shields. Not only does it boast high magic absorption, but also enables its wheel uh, wielder to parry spells. So, yeah. When I go like this. Oh! oh, oh. Parry spells. That's sweet. So if someone shoots like a spell at me, I'll just be like, bitch. No. Nope. They're like, no, fuck that. Still gonna use my other shield, though. Because <laughs> stamina. Oh, yeah. Bitches in the crib, like, for that. Oh, Kendrick. He was so sassy. Vendrick Lamar. He was... <laughs> Ugh, wasn't there a boss in Dark Souls named Vendrick? Yep. That's why I said it. <laughs> Gotcha. That was one of the last bosses, actually. The big ass fucking giant. Oh, the king dude. Yeah. Yeah. Old King Vendrick. I like how you beat him in the nude. Oh yeah, did I? Yeah. Yeah, you beat him in the nude because you were faster. Shit. Nope. 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 I do want to fight them because they drop another Titanite slab, but nope. <laughs> Shit! I did not expect them to follow me. Divine Pillars oh. of Light. Did that one fall to his death? Did he survive that fall? I think he might have. Actually, I will put this shield on for now. Ow. Because they're motherfuckers shooting stuff at me. Because I don't think he got... You didn't get any souls. So I don't I think I did. did. Yeah, he might have survived that fall. A blessed gem. But I don't, also don't see him. Huh. Oh, sweet. Bitch, you're such a bitch now. I get fucked. So Ew. gross. Ew. Oh, yeah, fall to your death. You deserve it. Wee! Okay, not we here. <laughs> you're slowly making la, your way la, down. La. Oh, I yes, and also to answer the uh, other question from last time, uh, June Class Heroes... He used uh, Super Tramp's uh, Breakfast in America for their uh, song that everyone knows. So there's an interesting tidbit for you. Tidbit. Also, that uh, Andy hates Super Tramp. Yeah, my family listens to it way too much on road trips, and now I just can't stand Super Tramp. Yeah, that, that's a fair point. When it's, you're, it's been ruined for me. When friends or radio or family just like... Just ruins it. They just go too hard, and then it's done. Well, when you hear a song too many times, you get sick of it. Yeah. This is the truth. Just like... Rock, 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 rock. No, I got, I got annoyed with that the second you told me what it was. Yeah. 
and I kept trying to like it was like I heard it a couple like right when it came out yeah. and then I was like Braden I just heard the shittiest song ever fucking made and then we tried to find it and we couldn't and then eventually I heard it on the radio and I was like oh dear and now fuck. it's like everywhere <laughs> I do enjoy that video you showed me where the girl drew like Rihanna and the Rihanna's butt was like her nose yeah thing. the work nose version a little Asian girl wiggling her nose to yeah. work it was like adorable and hilarious at the same time. I also love how straight faced she is while she does the whole video, just like <laughs> no smile, nothing. Just shaking her nose. Also, I just realized this was still full. I have no idea how to get the Drake blood armor. I should find that out. Actually, this is even better than I remember it being. <laughs> Shocked out. Ugh. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> You know what I actually find hilarious and like it kind of bothers me but it bothers Steph so much more? What? The bitches in anime who do like the um what's it exactly like that? <laughs> like laugh or whatever. Okay. With their hand. It just like fucking irates her to no level. It never even fazed me. I didn't I'm even just like I'm it. like I'm like and they're kinda you know, like and it just reminds me of Team Rocket. For Jesse. Yeah. So it never really bothered me. Which, by the way, James is a much better character. Let's just get that out of the way. How Ooh. dare you. James? Dude, better. I had such a little boy crush on uh, Jesse. True. But James is still... He has the better lines. Yeah. And the better voice. James! <laughs> <laughs> Make it double. Hunter's ring. I believe that increases my dexterity by five. Oh. So it's actually pretty good. It's really good if you're a dex build. Yes. Achoo! Or if you're in like need of like a, a better weapon that uses dex, and you don't want to use level ups. Achoo! And you want to use a ring slot. Achoo! Oh god. Oh! Damn it, fatty! Why you fly? And I don't I, mean. And I don't mean the like a white guy. I mean, like, why you fly in the sky? Yeah, it's a golden winged smog. Yep. We just got slice in the booty. I like how this series actually seems to give smog more love than Ornstein. Yeah. Well, they had that one. Oh shit! They had that one boss that was like, more or less, the boss that I just beat last yeah. time. Stop using your holy shit on me! Why do you even have that as an attack? It doesn't make sense. Oh, damn it. damn it. That sucks. Well, I guess, are they supposed to be, like, royal vanguardy type people? They're just really fat. I have no idea if they respawn or not. Oh. Because I know if you kill all three of them, you get a Titanite slab. Yeah. Which doesn't really matter to me at this point, but no. I was kind of like, eh! Why not? But Miracle, get rid of those guys. Well, at least I could tell people that, hey, if you kill all three of those guys, you, you get a Titanite slab! You can show it to them and be like, here you go, this is what you do. But I already showed them how to get one Titanite slab. Woot. Woot. Yes. Pimp hand strong. Indeed. Backhand. Shit. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Look at I you. I have no face. Your non-existent face. I am, I am the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You're the ghost of parties! Oops. Oops. You can't see me! You can't see me! You can't see me! He comes back t on Monday. I'm so excited. Lol, I've never actually watched a John Cena fight. Nope. Because I don't watch wrestling. The, the only wrestling you watch is when you come down when I'm watching it. Exactly. And then you... We'll watch a couple matches. And then I'll make fun of it the entire time, pretty much. Actually, you didn't last time, which was kind of nice. Because <laughs> the time before when you went nonstop, I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. It's so easy to make fun of, though. I know. I can understand that it is. Backstabs for days, son. God, I miss this in Dark Souls 2. Just, you couldn't backstab people in Dark Souls 2. It was really fucking hard. 
Oh yes, now that we've uh, completed one top five, let's do another top five. Oh god. This one this one should be fairly easy for you though. What? Top five like rank the Dark Souls games. There there are I Technically including played, uh, Bloodborne and Demon Souls, there's five. Yeah, I I haven't even played Oh shit. I haven't even played Demon Souls. Fuck! So Demon Souls would be five. Okay. Because technically you can't really rate it there. Alright, so number five, Demon Okay, I can say it immediately. Yeah. Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 1. Starting from worst to best. Oh, you didn't give me a chance to do number five. Oh. But that's alright. We get the point. I, th I think we've discussed that a few times though. Oh, we, we might have. Yeah, that's true. Because, like, haven't played Demon Souls? Can't judge it. I just feel like it's too dated now. Bloodborne? I like it. I like the idea. I like the atmosphere. I like all that shit. Not my kind of game. I just yeah. don't like the gameplay feel. Um, Dark Souls 2 is obviously the worst. Yeah. And then Dark Souls 3, I like it. It looks really nice. It brought, it brought back the gameplay of Dark Souls 1. But Dark Souls 1 is just almost a perfect game. Well, that's what got you into... Yeah. Yeah, Dark Souls is right under Zelda for my favorite game series. Like, I'm pretty sure if you would have started with a different Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 might not be as... I don't know. There's a lot of people who started with Demon Souls that still prefer Dark Souls. Shit. No, but, like, I mean, like... Like, let's say this was your first one, and then you decided to play the other ones because you like this one. Is what I'm saying. Well, the other ones would probably feel dated in comparison. Yeah. Which is why I don't think I'll be able to enjoy Demon Souls. Yeah, that might be an interesting, like, uh... Yeah, I, I just don't know, because I remember Steph doing it for a little bit, and yeah, it's like really dated. It looks terrible. I watched Nathan play it. It looks really bad. And like, normally, like, graphics won't deter me that much, but like... Oh, sometimes the game is like... Always. Yeah, sometimes the game is just like, it's just too... Yeah. See, I think that's the problem in general with 3D. Is as 3D games keep getting better, they look a lot better, and when they look a lot better... You, it's harder to go back to the old 3D games. But 2D games, like, 2D games are always... They never like, age. They never age. I can play Super Mario World the fuck! As though I just played it for the first time ever, like, a day ago. Yeah. But, like, if it was originally a 3D game, and then you try to go back to it, I think it would be much harder to go yeah, back like, to look, it. Yeah, look at Super Mario 64. It looks like a ball sack. Yeah. Like, it looks so fucking shitty. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. The low-poly, weird, tiny biceps... The round Popeye hands. Forearms. Yeah, the fucking Popeye forearms. Yep. Like, it looks like absolute garbage. But yeah, but pretty much any, like, 2D game that you go back to, like, no one gives a shit. Yeah. Like, they still look as good as when they came out. Yeah. So. Yep. Because, yeah, because I can tell you, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and Knuckles looks much better than you Sonic exactly Adventure. exactly what you're getting into. Yeah. You know exactly what it's going to look like before you even pop it in, and you're okay with that, because... It doesn't matter. But now, with 3D games, it really matters. Yeah. Especially when shit gets, like, glitchy. Well, that's like, um... And I know you're not nearly as big of, like, an anime fan as I am. I am an anime fan through and through, though. Yeah, through and through. But I, like, I just don't watch every anime that ever comes out. I don't watch... Well, here, here's what I do. Is I will pick... Because I have Crunchyroll, obviously. And Funimation. Yeah. So when... And I have, I'm not even watching that much on Funimation. But when... Crunchyroll, the new season comes out, of course they release all these new animes. So I will start watching what is interesting, and I will pick like all these ones up, and then they'll naturally, like some will just naturally die off and I won't continue them, and then by the end of it there's like two or three that I'm really into that I'll actually finish. So that's kind of how my system works. You but watch a lot of like the super kawaii desu animes that I just can't stand. They're my guilty pleasure. Yeah, they are... Like, I enjoy, like, basically the oh, three fuck. types of animes I really like is super action, so, like, Dragon Ball Z, um, Yu Yu Hakusho, um, Fairy Tale, One Piece, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Um, then I enjoy, like, slice of life comedy ones. Those so, are hit and miss for me. They're really hit and miss. Like, they're really... So, like, when I really like one, like, I really like it. But I, it also can't just be, like, they do nothing but hang out. They have to have, like, a comedy or some type of plot to it. It has to be funny. It has to yeah, be funny. If it's not funny, funny, I'm not even yeah, interested. exactly. And then, yeah, and then the Kawaii Desu ones that I... I hate. I hate the Kawaii Desu ones. 
I fucking hate them so much. See, but the, like the one that you were like kind of watched with me though, I like the premise behind that Which show more that? than that. It's the one where it was like the girls and they were doing that test of like the. Actually, what are you doing there that long? You may not have seen it. They went like all the way underground, like a thousand meters. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Anyways, so the premise is that all these girls have like, they basically have like the worst luck out of anything. So it's a class designed to literally teach them how to be happy. Oh, okay. But it's kind of weird because like the girl who's like the main protagonist who is like technically ranked the worst in the class seems like she's already the happiest. So you know that there's some shit that's gonna go on, and you're gonna learn something. But Anyway, so those are kind of the three, like, main style of animes that I like. Like, I'm not a big romance guy. I'm not, um... No. Like, I don't... They have to have it. Like, well, yeah. they don't have to, but, like, the ones that have a good romance are interesting. Yeah. But basically, like, how I decide on an anime... And this oh, is weird, because, like... Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, you're dead. But, so, for a lot of people, they either go Fuck. into it thinking, I need to have a really good plot, if that's what they like. Or they need to have really good characters. See, that's why Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is my favorite anime. That is it has everything. Top five. It has everything. But, um... So the weirdest thing is, is though, like... Those are important factors, but it's actually not the biggest one that'll deter me away from an anime. It's actually the art style. If I don't like the art style, I won't touch it. I can understand that. Like, there's a lot of ones that I've heard that are really good, but I take one look at, like, their cover art or, like, a thumbnail and, like, nah, fuck. No, I, I, can, t- I can totally understand that. I completely agree to that. Yeah. Like, when I first watched Soul Eater, yeah. I didn't like the art style, like, just for the opening intro. Yeah. I was like, I don't like this. Yeah. Soul Eater is one of my favorite animes. Yeah. I fucking love Soul Eater. Um, but, yeah, just the first glance, I didn't like it, and then I actually watched it, and, like, the animation's actually really good, especially during the fight scenes. It's yeah. super smooth. It looks awesome. Yeah, that's where Soul Eater picks up the slack, because, yeah, the artwork isn't that great, but the animation is really good, so yeah. it kind of bounces it's it out. It's weird. It's weird how it works so well. But, yeah, they're, like, they're it's just... It's hilarious. There's just some that, like, I will literally take one glance at it, and I don't care how good it is, I won't watch it. Honestly, that Yu Yu Hakusho show looks fucking terrible in my mind. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's... I hate that style. I, I couldn't watch that show. Oh, it's the old it's the old Dragon Ball Z Sailor Moon style. Yeah, I, it's and way look, too dated for Like, me. honestly, Dragon Ball Z is amazing, but I think if anyone nowadays no, it tried to watch up. Dragon Ball Z, they just couldn't do it. Actually, no, that's not true. I got my buddy Reed into Dragon Ball Z, like, a couple, not even two years ago. No, but based, he loved it. based off the art style. Now, if I was to recommend anybody who wanted to see it but was kind of new... I would just have them watch Dragon Ball Kai. That's what I did get them to watch. Yeah, see, Dragon Ball Kai is fine because it looks good. It looks better, yeah. But if you had them watch the original Dragon Ball no. Z or even Dragon Ball... I couldn't. I've, I actually no. did recently rewatch Dragon Ball. And by recently, I mean like a few years ago. Yeah. But yeah, it looks bad. But yeah. I watched it because I was such a Dragon Ball Z fan. Right? Exactly. So like, I'm pretty sure if we would have seen... Because it was around the same time as Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z. It's just... It was... It was seen more violent by Westerns, so that's why I wasn't on... Because I watched uh, Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon on YTV. Me too. So yeah, so they didn't have it on there. I'm sure if it was on there at the exact same time, it we easily would be going off on how it's just as yeah. amazing. Because from what I've watched of it, like, it, I lo- like, I love the show. It's just, yeah, it looks dated as fuck. Yeah, Dragon Ball actually still holds up, just like... Plot-wise and shit like that, it still holds oh, up. Oh yeah, plot-wise, like, fight scenes, like characters, plot, all that kind of stuff. It's just... It holds up. But the problem it, yeah. with anime is that if you don't, like, I see if you if I don't like the art style, I just can't. I can understand that. I, I wouldn't even hold that against you. So, yeah, because I, well, because I watched it on Crunchyroll, they have this weird thing where it was kind of like a podcast and they are talking like, one guy's like, I have to have a really good plot, and the other guy's like, I have to have really good characters. I'm like, I'm surprised that they're not mentioning the artwork. Well, yeah, it's everyone has a preference. It's like, yeah, I fucking... I hate Pokemon. I fucking hate Pokemon. Some people love Pokemon. You especially. Like, mm-hmm. it's everyone's preference. I prefer, like, a Zelda-style game, something like that. That's my kind of game. Yeah. Like, I just, I can't stand turn-based fighting. Mm-hmm. It drives me up the fucking wall. It makes me want to kill myself. Yeah, and that makes sense. Meanwhile, I, like, my favorite style of game is JRPGs. See, I still, like, I, we've had this conversation, I still don't consider Pokemon a JRPG. I know it is, it has yeah. all the, it, it fits all of the requirements, I yeah. do not consider it a JRPG. Just because it feels so different to JRPGs. 
The thing is, is basically I'll say this. It's a JRPG if you stick to the main base game. It's like a strategy based game if you play online. Because the problem is, is that in the game, you can use a fire type against a water type if you over level or you just know what, like, you just try to, like, overpower it. So it's not a big deal, but, like, on the online, you would get your ass whooped in five seconds. Yeah, I only tried online once, never again. I've actually done okay online. I think, like, I've probably done, like, ten matches, and I think I was, like, seven and three when I was done. Yeah, see, like, I don't know what everything does. Like, I don't know what all of the Pokemon, I don't know all of, like, the oh, moves it, and shit it, like that. It's, yeah, it's definitely, like, competitive Pokemon players are, like, a different breed of people. Yeah. Like, that shit's intense. But actually, uh, it's actually time to end it off for today. It's good timing, so I'm about to go into a boss fight. Sweet. So next time, uh, we'll continue this discussion as well as take on the boss. So keep coming. Game on. Goodbye. Goodbye.